Today's video, we're talking about stage four kidney disease and what, what it is, what you can do, and symptoms. So thanks for watching, everybody. This is Healthy Kidney Inc. I'm Robert Galarowitz. We have over 300 videos on how to support kidney health. So after you watch this video, make sure to check out all of our other videos about the related information so that you know what to do. So stage four kidney disease. What is it? We have five stages of kidney disease. One, two, three, four, five. Five is kidney failure, okay, where your kidneys are no longer able to do the job of your body. And stage four is a pretty severe state of kidney disease that you should take very serious and be very aggressive in your care. So we track and monitor uh, kidney function by GFR, which you'll see on your blood work. And the GFR has to be in a range from 15 to 30 to be considered stage four. So you can be at the lower end of, uh, of your GFR, meaning more advanced in, the state, in stage four kidney disease if your GFR is 15. And then you can be at a better state where your GFR is 30, you're still in stage four, but you're at the higher end towards stage four, close to stage three kidney disease. So stage four kidney disease comes along with a lot of symptoms. I've been through stage four, so I know what it's like, and there are so many symptoms you can have. So it's, everybody can experience something different, but generally you'll feel fatigue, uh, brain fog, uh, possibly nausea, lightheaded, loss of appetite, you might have swelling in your ankles, you might have your blood pressure out of control. So it can be a variety of things. It's not a good feeling, but if you really control things are, and are on top of your health and aggressive, like doing the things we're gonna talk about, things I talk about in other videos, you can really have a good quality of life, you can slow down the loss of kidney function, even stop it, in a lot of cases you can improve it. So what do you do? You're in stage four, maybe you just found out, maybe you just decided to take it seriously, whatever it is, you're in stage four kidney disease. First, you wanna get the opinion of at least two nephrologists, don't settle on one. Um, I'd rather you not even settle on two, I'd rather you get three, but we'll, we'll at least two nephrologist opinions you wanna get, and you wanna take all the medications, okay? I don't like medications, I still gotta take medications, but when it comes to stage four, your kidney is just not gonna have the ability to control the blood pressure and do a lot of the body functions, help control anemia, which is a big problem with kidney disease, and that really gives you a poor quality of life, and we can control and fix these things. And when we control and fix these things, you have better kidney health. You can slow down the loss of kidney function, stop it, maybe improve it. So take all your meds, okay? If you're having side effects, speak to your doctor about it. Some people take them at night so they can sleep them off, sleep it off, any side effects. Some people find they take it with food and it's easier. So talk to your doctor, whatever works for you, but get at least a couple of opinions from nephrologists. Second, Diet. You have to start doing some dietary things because diet has such a big impact on kidney health. You want to get rid of and lower as much sodium or salt in your diet. So you really got to monitor everything to get those the salt sodium levels down. Second, the diet that is consistently shown the best, especially in this later stage of kidney disease, is a low to very low protein diet. So you want to be on that type of diet, get some type of guidance, whether it's books, looking at a lot of videos, we have a lot of videos here, getting some professional guidance from a dietitian, nutritionist, someone trained, and this type of diet will really be beneficial. You can check out our website, other videos, lots of resources on this, but you want to go, want to go on that diet. So you want to start with getting the nephrologist, all your medications, low sodium diet, low to very low protein diet. Some people might need essential amino acids or keto analogs of essential amino acids to make up the protein. So you can look into that. Next, you wanna take supplements, okay? Cause you just can't control everything without proper supplementation. When it comes to kidney health, you need to support the kidneys as nutritionally, nutritionally as possible. So the diet and some proper supplements, um, vitamin D is the basic one, but there's a lot out there. So if you're in stage four, be aggressive, do those things, control your blood pressure, get on the meds, get on the diet, get on the supplements, and then you can see where you're actually at. You're gonna feel better, be better, and a good, a good chance you're really gonna support much better kidney health and kidney function. So take a look at our videos, look in the comments section. Uh, we'll have some links in there, also the description section, and to your best, best kidney health. Bye.